Hey everybody, it's here. What we've all been waiting for. Every single Intune administrator, consultant out there, I've been waiting for this day. And that is application delivery with Microsoft Store for Business built straight in into Intune. It's finally hit my talent today. Today's um, Sunday, the 4th of December. And yeah, it's finally here. So let's check it out. So I'll start off in the Intune portal under apps. We go to Windows and we add an application. We go down to select type and we have two new options, uh, one new option here. We have the Microsoft Store app, new, and we have the legacy, but we're obviously gonna be checking out the new one. We're not gonna be checking out the legacy, but we click on it and we go to select. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna install an app now. So we click on search the Microsoft Store app. We get to now type in our search. So I'm gonna type in Adobe and let's see what pops up. So we've got a bunch of different Adobe stuff here. We've got Adobe Express, we've got Lightroom, we have Adobe Reader DC. The Win32 um, apps are actually um, still in um, preview. So let's see if it works or not. Uh, let's go for it, yeah, we'll go for um, Acrobat Reader DC. Let's see what happens. So we press select and we can see all the pre-populated information in there. We can see the description, the name. Um, we can give it a category. So if we wanna put it into um, company portal later, we can click on a category, we give it productivity for here, and we can show it as a featured app or not. We can press next, and we can give it a scope tag if you wanted to, just like any other applications. And here we've got assignments. So if we um, add a group, and we're gonna go for my Windows 365 PC. Um, my Windows 365 PC was this one. One thing to note, it's not got up here, it doesn't tell me how many um, users or groups my group is that, that this group actually has, or use, um, users or devices my group has. We have a filter mode where you can do some filtering um, and we can do our normal stuff with end user no, toast notifications, installation deadlines, etc. That's pretty cool. So if we press next and create, let's see roughly how long this takes for the application to come down. Right, so that didn't really go to plan. Um, I've got no toast notifications up here. And if I go into the Adobe Acrobat Reader, it just is not installed and we're getting nothing really back on there whatsoever. But remember, this is a Win32 app that we tried on the Microsoft Store app. So let's just try another one. So let's go to Adobe again. And let's go for a Express, Adobe Express. It's a UWP type, so let's try that. Again, everything here is actually the same. Um, we're not gonna do any other additional scope tags. I'm gonna go to our Windows 365 group, this one here with my devices in, and press next. And create. Now, the time now is 106 minutes past one, so let's see what time that takes to install. And out of nowhere, Express has just worked. So 20 minutes or so. I did have to restart the services a couple of times, but Adobe Express is installed. So if you go to the start menu, and uh, we can see Adobe Express is down there. So what have we learned today? We've learned that the UWP apps work really well with Windows, um, with the new Windows Store for Business um, add-in, I guess you can call it, with um, applications. Win32, currently in preview, still not currently working, or doesn't seem to be working. So if we look at the application again, go down there, it's literally just saying not installed. So maybe that comes soon um, when it's out of preview or a couple of um, weeks, days long. So enjoy it at the moment get some applications installed. Um, let's move away from the old Windows Store for Business legacy way of doing it. This is much easier if it works. Take care, hope you enjoyed the video.